Hi, this is Cole from Storytelling with Data. So a big part of our work at Storytelling with Data involves presenting, presenting virtually, presenting in person. There's a lot of preparation that goes into that. So we thought we'd give you a peek at just some of the things that happen behind the scenes when it comes to how we prepare to present that maybe will be helpful as you prepare to do so as well. Before presentation, I'll typically do one final run through of my slides. I like to make that the last thing that I do before I go to bed. Uh, it makes me think that it goes from my short term memory into my long term memory overnight so that when I get up the next day, I'm ready to go. The morning before a presentation, I try to get up extra early so I can just make sure I have plenty of time. Uh, time to get prepared, to get everything in order, to feel put together. Uh, and so time is the biggest thing that I allow for morning of. And then it really depends on the setup of the presentation. It's a virtual presentation. I'll take some extra time, make sure I have all of my equipment set up and test that out ahead of time so that things will run smoothly. If it's in person, I'll make sure I get to the venue with plenty of time just in case I need to rearrange any furniture at last minute or deal with unexpected hiccups. I prepare my voice uh, in a couple of different ways. Uh, one, I'm a big fan of, it's called Vocal Zone. It's this red package of lozenges that we import, or I get them imported from the United Kingdom. Uh, they're black, licorice flavored, but they just do a nice job of coating the throat to try to get rid of any raspiness. Uh, because for some reason, I always tend to find them a little raspy before I need to use my voice. Uh, also, tea is a great thing for voice. Uh, they make special throat coat teas, but really any hot herbal tea will help calm things down and tends to be part of my routine before speaking. Protecting your voice is super important when you need to use it to communicate. Uh, I learned this the hard way uh, in a busy business trip in Australia and New Zealand. I had a packed schedule and was several sessions in and there was one evening where I had, um, it was an informal presentation to a large audience and no microphone on hand. So I was projecting and not even realizing how much strain I was putting on my voice because the next day I woke up and I was actually checking out of the hotel, getting ready to fly to my next stop. And I opened my mouth and no sound came out, which is really terrifying when you need your voice to do your job. <laughs> so that was an early wake up call to how important voice is to my work and that I needed to take steps to better protect it. There are a couple of things that I always keep within reach when I'm presenting virtually. Uh, one of those things are sticky notes, which I almost always have with me no matter what I'm doing. But they can be handy to jot down a quick note if someone brings something up as a question that you want to come back to later. Or ahead of presenting, I'll often make notes to myself, things like the organizer's name so that I don't have to keep it in mind and can glance at it if I need to. Or uh, any crutches uh, when it comes to filler work or things like that that I'm trying to keep in mind and I'll actually just stick those along the edge of my monitor so they're within my line of sight. It's also imperative to have beverages on hand, water, caffeine, tea, and such. And then all the technology that I need to have in reach. So make sure that all of that's oriented before I begin.
Virtual and in-person presentations are different in a lot of ways. I think when it comes to the setup, I mean, the nice thing is in virtual land, I get to just walk down the steps in my house to my office and I'm ready to go. So it's really about making sure all of my technology is functioning and working the way I expect it to, that everything is situated within reach, and then I always try to make sure I show up early and do a tech check in advance just so I can figure out how to get my screens set up in a way that's going to support me. So for virtual, I'll often have multiple screens. Actually, for this session we just did, I had my main screen in front of me with my slides on it, was projecting from there. I had my iPad down in front of me where I could see chat that was happening real time. I had my laptop over on my right where I had my presentation again, but in slide sorter view so that I can scroll through and kind of keep an eye out of the corner of my eye. So I always know what's coming next, which makes it really easy to then transition smoothly from what I'm talking about currently to where we're going next. And it looks sort of like magic for people on the other end of it. have some tips when it comes to boosting confidence right before you get ready to go on stage or go in front of the camera. And they sound super silly, but actually work. Probably the most basic is just to make sure you're breathing, right? Take a moment to take some deep breaths in and out can help steady any nerves, also steadies your voice, because when you're nervous, oftentimes we don't breathe as deeply, and when breath becomes shallow, that's what causes that voice quivering that you sometimes hear. So making sure you're breathing deeply. Also, stepping off camera, and this is the part that sounds super silly, but doing one of these power postures, right, which can be like arms above the head, or you know, out like Superman or Superwoman, and you look and feel super silly when you're doing it, but there's something mind settling in ways that can be positive. And I think just anything personally that you can do to feel your best is going to help you put that best self forward and help you to present with confidence. There are so many things that go into making a great presentation, right? From the materials to ourselves and the role that we play. So I'd love for you to share what you do to get ready for a presentation. Leave your comments and we'll see you next time.